Hello, my name is Cornelia Erfurt Berge and I would like to give you an overview of my article about calciphylaxis. The title of my review is Management of Patients with Calciphylaxis. Calciphylaxis is a rare disorder presenting mainly in patients with chronic kidney disease, where it is also called calcific uremic arteriolopathy. Clinically, you often find necrotic ulcers on the lower leg, but also on other body parts. Vascular diseases as reason for the leg ulcers have to be excluded, as well as thrombophilic disorders like levedoid vasculopathy. In a histological examination, one finds stenosis and occlusion of small cutaneous vessels, and specific stainings like Fancosa staining can help to show the calcium deposits. Patients with calciphylaxis show a mortality of around 80%, often due to septicemia. A number of risk factors for the development of calciphylaxis have been described in case control studies, mainly for patients with end-stage renal disease. Next to renal disease, risk factors are other disorders of the calcium phosphate homeostasis, female gender, high body weight, or warfarin therapy, for example. Next to local wound therapy and the prevention of sepsis, systemic treatment options have to be discussed. The cessation of vitamin K antagonists is recommended. The underlying renal disease has to be treated, for example, by changes in dialysis. Systemic treatments to reduce the calcification, like the application of sodium thiosulfate or biphosphonates, have only been analyzed in small study cohorts. The situation is even worse when a case of non uremic calciphylaxis is present, where randomized control studies are also missing. In conclusion, wound experts have to be aware of this rare disease. Treatment comprehends antimicrobial local wound therapy and the treatment of underlying diseases like renal disease. The treatment has to be planned in an interdisciplinary setting.